Emotions are swinging like crazy in this market, and I want to go through a little bit of live analysis with you guys right here, because what we have just seen over literally just these last minutes, um, this is on the five minute time frame, this Bitcoin has seen yet another ridiculous, very obvious instance of market manipulation. Uh, but the result of it is we have now been pushed right back up to that $24,000 area right here, which is nice because we ended up getting a rejection off this level, came back down to exactly my bottom uh, of the, the bottom of my area of support right here, which lies at about 22.7. This is the same box that I've had drawn for a very, very long time. Now, those of you who are subscribed, of course, are going to know all about it. And what we saw with this chart right here, if we take a look at our Ichimoku cloud, is another very nice hit of support. Now, we've been able to use this cloud as support once over here and now successfully twice right here. So that is absolutely beautiful. And one of the things that I really like seeing about this right here is that we are now testing this $24,000 area again for the fourth separate instance. And this is if we measure this out, this is the fourth time that we're testing this resistance area within 21 days. And, um, you know, I've been saying for a long time, I don't actually think that this resistance is particularly strong. I don't think this is the most concerning area for Bitcoin in terms of resistance. I think the resistance areas that we should be worried about are much higher up in that, you know, kind of 30 to $35,000 range. And so the fact that we are now coming up for that fourth test is great. The fact that we're coming up to this fourth test out of because of market manipulation, not so good, but the end result is the same, which is why I'm not actually too worried about this overall. Um, and the thing that I really just want to take a look at is actually not on this chart. It's going to be on this chart right here. If you take a look at this yellow line, this represents our resistance area. And you can see how if we end up getting another rejection off this level, um, you know, we could be looking at potentially falling down to the bottom of this uh, ascending triangle support line, you see this red line, um, and this yellow line f um, paint for us an ascending triangle picture, which is basically, uh, you know, showing us that the market is compressing in terms of its price action, we already formed one of these right here. See, we have this very same red line offering support, this yellow line offering resistance the market was being pushed up by this red line the ceiling was kept the same and we ended up getting the breakout obviously it didn't stick but then we got a second breakout after that and so if we're looking at something similar right now we could be uh looking at potentially falling down to the bottom of this area right here which places at about 21 uh, 22 000 which is still a pretty nice price level the thing that i want to talk to you about though is this market does seem to love um, giving us deviations, right, where we end up, uh, you know, temporarily getting breakouts that either look very bullish or very bearish. So for example, this is a great example right here where we had basically, you know, your very typical, uh, you know, parallel channel that's trending downwards, we got a breakout here, which could have taken us off to the races, we even got a couple retests, but ultimately, none of these rallies were able to stick, and the market ended up dropping down. This is what I would call a deviation, you know, it look, it's basically a false breakout is another way to call it. Uh, we've had so, so many of these that, you know, I mean, there's another um, instance right here where we formed one pretty early on in this kind of consolidation pattern. Take a look at this. We formed this deviation and then we came back down. Um, and the reason I'm pointing this out is that if we do something similar right now, if we do end up falling back down, um, you know, I do think that, uh, you know, th there's there's some good opportunity for the market to gra grab a little bit of liquidity down here around the 20k range, potentially even a touch lower, uh, because a lot of people probably wouldn't be expecting something like that to happen. Uh, and then potentially moving up to, uh, you know, of course, grab liquidity up here and I know it's annoying but this is kind of what this market has turned into because we're in a bear market it just generally tends to be this way for Bitcoin unfortunately when we're in bear markets because as you can see from the volume down here there's just not a lot of trading action going on uh, so the market does become about just reaching for those zones of liquidity and the thing that, that I kind of find concerning about this is uh, you know if we take a look at MDX algo right here this is um, the website from MDX crypto some of you guys know him I've done some videos with him if we look at the long and short ratio on Binance, you got 67% of traders, according to this data, going long, uh, a little bit over 50% on Bybit, and a little bit over 52% on FTX as well. Um, you know, this is still majority long, people are generally quite long in this market. And, um, and obviously, that means that, uh, you know, in order to, you know, potentially screw over the most amount of traders, well, if most traders are anticipating this direction, but the objective is to screw traders over, well, then, like I said, you know, these kind of DV could be on the cards. And I think it's important to note, you know, what's happening with sentiment. I mean, we are swinging by quite a bit. If we take a look at 
where we were just two days ago on this fear and greed index, we had a reading of 30, bam, up to th 42, and now back down to 31 with our reading today. I think this is really, really important to keep in mind, ladies and gents, because with what we're seeing right now, we are seeing quite extreme emotional swings in this market. But from what? You know, I mean, the market only moved down over here by $1,000. Okay, that's not even a 5% price move right here. Let's measure this from high to low. Actually, it's slightly more than 5% from high to low. Uh, but for the most part, from 24 4k down to 23 if we just measure those two price areas, uh, you know, obviously being a little bit more rough, uh, you know, really, we're not looking at such extreme price action. Let me see if I can draw this out because I'm curious what that number would be. Yeah, this is this is about a 3% move because of where Bitcoin is, right? But you're seeing such big swings on the fear and greed index. And, you know, I think that's really important to keep in mind, just showing us that we are still quite fragile with that sentiment in the market. Now, what I would like to see is that if we hold this level into these next, call it eight hours, uh, and the fear and greed index updates, sorry, nine hours and the fear and greed index updates if we're still looking at numbers that are kind of low you know around 30 uh, potentially just a little bit higher no more than 35 that's going to show me that actually this time people don't really believe that the market is going to go up because this is a lot of whiplash right this is a lot of ping-ponging back and forth a lot of rubber banding this really grinds down on your psyche as a trader um you know and it means that if you do end up moving up you might start just not believing that these rallies are going to last um and if we see that reflected with things like the fear and greed index then that's going to tell me that actually yeah we could be ready for a big big breakout because these kind of patterns the way they look to me right now is you just get a big lightsaber candle to the upside that ends up taking us up towards $28,000. And again, if you've been watching me for a while, you're going to know exactly why I've said that. Uh, you know, there's basically no liquidity in this zone right here between twenty four dollars and $28,000. Um, you know, you can, you can tell because of the way the price dropped down, the price dropped down like a rock um you know if you compare it to other price action for example like what we had right here or i mean really anywhere it's quite easy to spot this um you know you can generally see quite easily that this market uh you know does like to uh kind of move around move up and down and so on uh but sometimes sometimes it's just not the the the, the opportunity for it check this out this is really cool somebody showed this to me just yesterday um to remove all of my drawings and um and and so you know when we do enter these kind of zones we can just zip very very quickly all the way down or in our case hopefully all the way up and obviously that starts to become quite exciting so uh this is all something that uh, a trader that i was just i just had a party at my apartment here in the burj khalifa um yesterday and there's this dude mo xbt you can search him up on uh, twitter on instagram and so on he's a pretty good trader he's a day trader definitely not like me he traders uh, he, he trades like the one minute five minute time frame he's fucking crazy but he does it well uh, uh i just had him over and uh, and and he is actually the person that um that first put this on my radar that we could be coming back down here to grab liquidity obviously he said that yesterday when the market was in a slightly different position uh because yesterday this pump hadn't happened uh, but even now that it has happened the thing is is we're just getting so many rejections off this level and look i'm not really expecting that we do that again because like i said i mean i have to expect that these resistance areas get weaker not stronger with time however why can i not undo my drawings what is going on with my chart today um however uh you know with that said you know this is still uh you know an area of resistance and so that is generally where you would be expecting to get a rejection and like i said if we do potentially getting a little bit of a liquidity grab a little bit lower uh you know is not something that we should be ruling out super super easily so i think that's important to keep in mind and the thing is, is that if we do end up uh getting that move up now we've now had quite a bit of pent-up pressure right i mean if you take a look at this like i said about 21 days that we've been in this range that we've had this area acting as resistance and so that is potentially um you know quite a bit of pressure that's had some time to build up uh, and potentially get into a position where, uh, you know, it, it could be ready for quite a substantial blow off. Uh, and, and then, you know, to take as much higher, perhaps very, very quickly, which is why I said, you know, a quick move uh, potentially also being on the horizon. So um, all of that point, uh, painting towards a very, very exciting trading range. And you guys already know the deal. Whatever happens in this market, I'm going to be trading it right here on Bybit. This is my favorite exchange in crypto. It's the one that I trust with all of my trading activities. So if you want to check them out, um, you can do that and get over $4,000 by signing up using my link in the description down below. You're getting a big, big bonus there just by signing up uh, and, uh, and, and following my link right there. So it's going to look like this in the description. 
go down, scroll down a little bit, you'll see this get over 4K link. Once you click on it, I also will be giving you a tutorial on, um, on how to claim your bonuses right here on this page. So you get a few of the benefits and a two and a half minute tutorial. I literally do it in front of you, including the sign up process to show you how quick, quick it is. The sign up only takes me about literally 20 seconds. See where the screen goes black? That's the sign up process. Obviously, I'm not showing you the details that I put on screen, but that's from 38 seconds all the way up until one minute 10. So yeah, about 30 seconds, 20 seconds, something like that, uh, you, you end up being in Bybit and I show you exactly how to claim those bonuses. So it's a lot of money waiting for you. Definitely take advantage of it if you want to. It's well worth checking out for all of that free cash. Uh, and with that, I am going to be seeing you all in the next video. Definitely looks like something big could be around the corner. I do expect that this is going to be affecting the altcoin markets as well. There's lots to talk about here. All very, very exciting times. Dollar, look at this, dropping down like a rock um, in the face of that new uh, CPI news as well. Inflation just isn't as bad as um as some people were expecting and i expect that uh you know it's going to continue to be like this over these next weeks uh you know which could also give us more space for speculative rises in these markets as well so that is quite exciting let's take a look at the s p 500 as well yeah look at that gapping up uh, a very very nice open for the s p 500 which just opened uh about an hour or so ago so that looks pretty nice. If the S&P 500 is able to climb above this level, uh, you know, there's potentially quite a big move coming in for the S&P 500, potentially a 400 point gain. And uh, because that's kind of where I'm seeing the next area of resistance is around this 4600 area right here. And again, you know, for what that could translate to for Bitcoin, I mean, easily like $28,000, I think very much being on the cards as well. So, uh, you know, that's what I'm seeing right here. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, you know what to do, make sure you throw up a like, subscribe, tick the bell, do all that good stuff. Get your free cash on Bybit. Well worth checking out. It's totally free. It's very, very easy to get. All you have to do is follow this link in the description. If you want to jump inside VIP, it's always going to be the first link in the description down below. And with that, I really hope you have enjoyed this and I'm out. Bye-bye.